Well, the first I bait fish, that's all I did for a lot of years. And then I've got the, I'd go to Big Pond and bait fish, and there'd be guys up there from Charlottetown and different places. And they'd be getting fish, and I wouldn't be getting nothing. So I went to town one day and I bought a fly pole. Uh, oh, it wasn't a very expensive one, but it worked, and then I knew nothing about fly fishing. When I look back at it now, you know, I done pretty stupid things, but everybody, I guess, got to do that to learn. And I eventually started getting the odd fish, and when that turned me on to getting more flies and using the fly pole more, so then I got to that. The last one, I was pretty good to fly fish. Yeah. And I found out the different rivers, different flies worked in. So that's about the way I got into it, just trial and error. Yeah. Yeah. Did you tie your own flies? No, I never tied my own fly. But uh, oh, I know a lot of people that fly fish. I'd be fishing on the pond and. They'd give me a fly or two, you know, to yes. have a luck with. And I had a, a box with me. I'd put them in my pocket, and then they'd put them in a the box. And at the last one, I had quite an assortment of flies. Mm -hmm. And uh, first, when I was at it, I'd huckle a fish all right, but then I'd lose most of them because I'd. Uh, try to haul them ashore too fast and I'd either break my leader or the hook would come out. So, But then, as I say, I learned, you know, to yeah. take them easy and get the better of them and get them ashore. What did you fish, Ronnie? You, trout? Trout, yeah. Oh. All trout. Mm -hmm. Well, I fished salmon, but not too much. Fish salmon in Morel River for a few times. Yeah. Good many times. So you had good luck over the years? Oh, I've had good luck over the years. Yeah. East Lake used to be, I figured, the home of the fish on this east end. And I got a lot of trout in East Lake. <coughs> but it was a strange fish. Place to fish. <clears throat> I could go up there and uh, fish for half a day and not get a, a bite. And I'd go home, and when I'd be going home, you'd just be coming, and, and I'd be talking to you the next day or so. And God, you'd have to, have to get a, a basket full of trout on bait, probably. Yeah. And gudgeon. But then I got the we used to watch the tides and watch East Lake and the tides. That was the time they'd move on the tides, you know. And if they took a notion to boat, boy, they'd pretty near come into the boat after it. Yes. Yeah. But if you didn't have the right stuff, you may as well stay home. Yeah. Did you get any trophy fish? Some really big ones? Well, uh, Yes, I got pretty good ones. Well, good ones for me, anyway. But I've got them uh, five pound mm -hmm. over up at North Lake. And then I got a lot of trout in North Lake, you know. Was nice uh, pan trout, as the fellow said, about a pound or so. Yes. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. The only place that Larkin's Dam out in Selkery, that used to be a pretty good Place for fish, and then what caught us that went on the perch got in there, and then the perch pretty well took it all over because when they came in, there were so many of them, and the fly wouldn't last very long because they'd eat anything you'd throw out to them, you know, and fly wouldn't last very long. But there was good trout there. And did you fish uh, at uh, Clear Springs at Johnson's? Oh, yes. Never got too many big ones at Johnson's, or the odd one. I mean, big, that'd be 
three pound or so, and the same with big bonds, you know. It was pretty much a pan-sized fish, you'd get a big bond. But then there'd be uh, perhaps two or three times through the season for a week or so, there'd be some big ones around, you know. I mean, anywhere from two to, say, four pound, but not very many, like, you know. And there'd be the odd salmon come in about a big bond. You'd be fishing and all of a sudden there'd be something grabbing and you wouldn't know what the hell it was. He'd clean you whatever the hell you had. Then eventually I figured it out. It was salmon. I never got any of them in the fly. I got, got them with fish and bait. There was a lot of fish in North Lake when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Al Cummins was uh, fishing in North Lake for years. Yes. I'd be fishing up there at the bridge, and, and uh, you know where I lived down the lake there by, just by close to where Robert Baker is. I'd see him, he'd go down, he had a canoe, and he'd uh, get in the canoe, and he'd paddle up the lake, and at the odd time, you know, he'd stop at the bridge and, uh, and just throw the anchor, and, but he follows fish flies that I remember, and he wouldn't be fishing flies very long, and, and God, he'd come ashore, you know, trout like that. But see, he had the, knew the right flies to use, and he knew the time they'd like to be there. And then I eventually kind of got on with it. I used to figure out, you know, what time they were there and when they might bite. You'd get a few. Did you fish from the shore or did you use a boat? Well, I used a boat. Mm -hmm. When I used to go up above, up to the deep hole, as we call it, I always used the boat then. I rode it and then eventually I got a little motor, and a little electric motor on off car battery and used that. Do you still go today? No, the odd time, not too often. Mm -hmm. I had. Uh, some good times over in the river here. Uh, they, for years they didn't think there was too many fish over here, but I used to go over just to kill time more or less. I was living in Surrey there. And then I eventually ended up getting a few trout. There was big trout over there. Rainbows, they came in there. Yeah. Yeah. I think the biggest trout I got over in the river here was seven six, seven pounds, six uh, ounces. But Did you catch and release? Yeah, a lot of the time. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you did a lot of this for entertainment, for yes. enjoyment and... Well, you know, I can't think of anything more relaxing, you know. Yeah. And then if you had something bothering you or anything, you know, you'd pack whatever you were doing in, grab the fishing boat and go, mm -hmm. and perhaps spend a couple hours or more fishing, perhaps not get any of the trout, but it'd relax you. So you'd get feeling better. Yeah. Yeah. You'd, uh, you had to have confidence fishing, you know, mm -hmm. because if you didn't have confidence, you wouldn't get any trout. I used to try to get people to fish flies, and they'd fish flies for an hour or so and not get a bite. And they'd say, no, I can't fish fly. I'd say, oh yeah, you keep at it, you'll get it. And they would too. Eventually they'd start getting fish and then they'd get hooked on it.